Hello, and a happy Friday to everybody. It's day number five and video number three. And as I promised yesterday, today we will try our challenge in the Mixolydian sound. Going forward in the major scale, we might later, when we get into harmonic minor, melodic minor, mix it up a bit. But since we're always starting on the same note, there's no uh, major minor scale sound. It's always the sound of the mode that we're going for. Uh, as you see today, I've changed the guitar. Uh, I'm on my ESP custom shop, Mahogany Telly, uh, today. It's a bit of a different kind of a guitar, uh, different vibe, larger neck, uh, different sound. Uh, and this is something that it's probably good to say because uh, if I was really scientific about this challenge, I would definitely uh, use the same guitar every day, uh, same sound, same single chain, everything would be totally similar. But that's not the case or the point here. The point is to, in the end, to increase the musicianship uh, throughout different kind of exercises. We're not training for the Olympics here. I'm not going to train for a pole vault or, or high jump or anything. Uh, so uh, the goal itself, it's not only, and it's actually, it's not at all to be as fast as possible on one single exercise. This is just a tool among many other tools that I'm using in my preparation. Um, learning songs, I'm playing rhythm guitar, I'm playing different kind of lines, learning my parts. As I said earlier, it's 30 songs in the repertoire. So it's, it's a lot of work. Uh, anyway, uh, today I was able to get barely get up to 110 BPM. So uh, this is another point. You can't expect to, to have progress every day on each every session. It just hap doesn't happen that way. Progress always comes in, in leaps. And it, especially when we're going up in 5 BPM all the time, uh, that's definitely so that it just happens at some point you can not just increase tempo every day and uh, expect that you're able to do it but uh, today uh, we got to 110 so we're going back to 80 to give you the sound of the mixolydian so you can hear how it sounds and we will go into faster tempos after that here's your B chord <laughs> Without further notice, uh, I'm just going to go for it here. 80 beats per minute. And starting on the fourth string, going upwards. how a mixolydian scale sounds based on a major chord and uh, uh, nice tonality so um, I noticed that uh, with this guitar having a middle pickup over here it kind of <laughs> as a lot of players say and I say too on a, on a tree pickup guitar especially in the Strat style it tends to get on the way and I don't want to tuck it really that low so, because I, I want it to be able to affect the sound if I go into the in-between positions. Uh, so I kind of have to <clears throat> get my pick out of the way and pick from between, which is not the most natural spot for me, but uh, I can, you know, make it work. Uh, next would be uh, the 95 BPM tempo. And on that one, it's gonna be the uh, uh, neck pickup 
which in this case is a humbucker. Uh, a lot of different sounding from the uh, single coil that I used on two previous videos. <laughs> Um, 95 BPM and uh, starting on the highest string going down, uh, sorry, going up. Sorry, wrong scale. Okay, uh, then it's basically just about time to do the 110. Uh, I also tried 115 and it was really, really difficult uh, and not that successful. So it's probably just better to stick in 110 and try to make it as work uh, as um, um, easy and relaxed as possible. There will be uh, easier um, um, scale shapes coming in, especially to tomorrow and the day after tomorrow when we go into the Aeolian and Locrian modes. Those ones are really, really easy for my hand, so something might happen. But then again, when we go after that, we go into the harmonic minor, we might actually have to come back, which is reality. It could happen. So um, we'll see. 110 next it is. We're starting on the third string coming down. able to come through it. One really really needs to concentrate when, when we go on to those top speeds just concentrate on every note every string change to try to get the thing together and uh, that's basically uh, as I said before when you are in the slow tempos you have the possibility of affecting things when you are in the fast tempos especially the fastest one you need all your consideration and focus on being able to survive so, uh, and that's a lot of times what happens in live situations as well. Uh, I'm a player who moves a lot on the stage. Fortunately, we get to play big stages. So I move a lot, and, uh, but when there's a moment when I get into a technical part on the guitar, let's say a solo or something that we do together with Tuomas, the other guitar player, um, that's when the movement has to stop. We stay put, focus, and, you know, just play the part as, as good as you can. Okay, from here on we go towards the weekend and I really hope you guys have a good weekend, relaxing weekend. I'm off to the Helsinki Beer Festival, Beer Expo, uh, and uh, probably gonna be having some fun over there. It's a work-related thing, remember? And then uh, during the weekend there will be two videos coming in. So. Stick around, stay tuned, and uh, tune in for the next next videos during the weekend. Hey, I'll see you later. Bye.